what's up people welcome back to my channel today i brought this asun recipe is it worth a try i'll definitely make it it was easy to make find the details on azomscorner.com so let's get started first you need to wash that ghost mist thoroughly add some salt i've always done this since i was a kid just wash it really really well it can be up to three or four times till the water is clear basically you don't want any sand Funny thing is that as a kid, I really hated ghost meats, particularly because of the flavor and the skin. But now, especially in this Asun recipe, it's actually what we celebrate, the flavor of the ghost meats and the skin. We need ghost meat that actually has a very thick skin for this recipe. Now, once we are done washing our ghost meat, you want to place it on a paper towel because you want it really dry. Because of how we are going to cook this Asun, you don't want all the flavor to go into the water. So pat it dry once you're done washing, just like this. You also want to transfer it to a pan or bowl that is really dry so we can start to season it. The thing we are going to use is the calabash or African nutmeg which gives it a lot of flavor. It goes really well with goats. That's why it's popularly used in Isewu and anything that is goat related. After grating that, add your salt, one seasoning cube, you're going to save the rest for later. You don't want to mask the goat meat flavor. We're not going to use any thyme, curry powder, or anything of such nature. Like I said we want to celebrate the goat meat flavor. All we need is an onion, which we're going to cut up in big chunks and add it to this already seasoned goat meat. And then you just want to mix everything all together. Let the emery, the seasoning cube, the onions, and the goat meat just combine well. And then you want to cover it with a clean film and marinate for about half an hour. While that is done, we're going to blend up our scotch bonnet, bell pepper and onion mixture. The bell pepper is optional. I'm only using it because I don't have the red scotch bonnet. So I'm going to use my yellow peppers with my bell pepper for the red color, onions, a little bit of water. And it's going to be blended into a very chunky mixture. This pepper mix is actually where the fresh flavors for the goat meat comes from and it will complement it. If you want to, you can actually take out the extra water, but honestly it doesn't matter. It will still be tasty even though you don't. And then on high heat, you want to lock in the flavors into the goat meat and we'll add some oil, add the goat meat and the onions and just sear it for a few minutes till it's a bit browned. The air and the seasoning cube and the onion is going to give so much flavor and depth to the goat meat at this point. After about five minutes, your goat meat should be something like this, and then you want to add a bit of water and then transfer it to an oven safe baking dish where it's going to cook the rest of the way. Goat meat is usually tough, so it needs to cook for a long time. So we're going to add in a bit of stock, cover it with four, and cook on 180 degrees Celsius for about one hour. After about one hour, when the goat meat is a bit softened, we are going to check if our fork passes through and if it does, we are going to cut it up into little chunks before it smokes some more in the oven, giving it the typical smoky flavor of asun. You want really small pieces, so people can just pick it up in one bite and then you transfer it back into the oven tray, add a bit more calabash nutmeg every week and seasoning cube. We are going to keep baking at about 180 degrees and towards the end 200 degrees Celsius for one hour. It should look something like this. You can see it's a bit dried out but still very juicy. In a pan, you want to add a bit more oil, add your asun. This is literally the final step. And then you add your pepper mixture and one seasoning cube. For me, the key to good asun is how tender it is. I don't like when it's dry at all and I've had my fair share. At this point we don't need it to cook anymore so we just season with salt and turn off the heat. Follow my full recipe with the full measurements from my website nazomscona.com and you're going to have tasty asun just like this because mine is ready and I'm going to enjoy and dig in. Asun is not the most lean option for meat but it's still tasty either way and in moderation is good for you. If you like, don't go and try this as soon recipe. I bet you're going to love it. Hey guys, so I thought I will give my friend some of the asun we just made to try out. So here you go. Mm, 
no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Does it get the thumbs up or not? It's really good. Are you sure? Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. You should try it out. Would you make this? I wish I could. <laughs> I'll definitely make it, but I'd rather I make it for Bisha, but I'll definitely make it. And it was easy to make. Yeah, because you saw me making it, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's it guys. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll put the full recipe down below. <laughs>